You're, You're watching, watching ETN. ETN. Entertainment related new. Entertainment related discussion. Share, Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a review for Altered Carbon. Now, this is a show that was not on my radar originally. It came out back uh, this past February, so it's been out a while. A lot of you guys probably seen reviews for it by now, and but I definitely wanted to share my thoughts on the show because if you haven't seen it, by God, go see this show. It is so good, uh, and it's sci-fi. And it, you know, if you love sci-fi, this is definitely a show you want to watch. And um, you know, the the one thing about this show is it doesn't have any super named actors in it uh there are obviously familiar actors in it uh, uh joe kinnaman who if you've seen the new robocop a couple of years back he's the lead in the show uh james purefoy who i first saw back years ago uh in a knight's tale with heath ledger i'm uh, excuse me um uh, yeah heath ledger and he played uh he played had a small role in the, in the movie and he played um uh Sir Coyville, who was also the Black Wales, the Prince of the uh, the Black Prince of Wales in the movie, he's been in plenty of movies past that, and he was actually it was funny I didn't recognize him right away because he's actually put on a little bit of weight, so his face was a little rounder than it's been back in the days. But it's been twenty plus years since I saw him debut in A Knight's Tale. So, and the show is just so good. Basically, the show is about. Um, you know, uh, this one, this, the main character, whose name is uh, uh, Takeshi Kovach, was imprisoned uh, 250 years. And I know you're thinking, if you haven't seen the show, wait a minute, 250 years? Well, in this, uh, in this uh, show or in this story, uh, mankind has developed a way to, um, I guess, reverse engineer some alien technology where they can take their conscience and put it in what's called a stack, a little chip of sorts that goes on the top of your vertebrae and basically can transfer your consciousness to any body it wants. Um, and in the in the show, the human bodies are called sleeves because now that you can, I guess that's just the name they give them now because you can switch bodies so much that it's almost like you're changing sleeves or whatever, you're changing bodies. Or you could also put it in a synthetic body, which many people do. Um, uh, mainly the rich on the show who can afford a synthetic body. And because of that technology, no one really ever dies. Now, that doesn't mean there's not permadeath. The way, basically, the way you permanently kill someone is you destroy their stack. So, um, very, very cool concept. And basically, this is about this main character, Takeshi Kovac, who is, I think he was half Japanese, either half German or half Scandinavian, one of the two. And um, and basically, he he joins what's a resistance force called the Envoys, and they are basically fighting against this new movement of humans living forever because they believe, or the leader believes, uh, and the leader's name is uh, Quell Chris Fal Falconer, and it's woman. She's really cool and extremely intelligent. And um, you find out something. I don't want to spoil the show. I'm going to try and avoid spoilers as much as possible. You find out uh, later on in the show that she has a much deeper connection to what's going on. But on the outset, she is a resistance movement leader. And basically, the envoys are trying to stop uh, this technology uh, because they feel that once humans can live forever, the value that death offers to people in terms of living their life a certain way will be lost. People will be... Um, they care less. Um, obviously, killing people would be a lot easier because you never really kill them. And that it would definitely set a tone of one class and another class, and both classes will never be able to change. There will never be an opportunity for anybody in the lower class to move up because once the upper class has all the power, they can live forever. Um, that pretty much keeps everybody else down. And, and she was right. As we found out 250 years later, um, Takashi is released from prison to essentially uh, do an investigation uh, of a murder or suicide. There's this uh, main, uh, rich character named Lawrence Bancroft who is played by Purefoy. And he, it appears that he's committed suicide. He firmly believes he was murdered. So he uses 
um, his money and his power to get Kovac out of uh, incarceration because the envoys were considered highly skilled assassins slash uh, espionage type characters that the only reason they really lost the war is because they were more or less outnumbered. Um, and Takashi, after that war was over, was basically on the run and he was out there, you know, doing crime to make his living and stuff like that until finally he got caught and then he was incarcerated. And um, so he comes out and he's basically offered pardon to do this. Like, he, if he does the investigation and he closes the case and gives an answer and he succeeds, he basically is pardoned. He's paid a buttload of money, and I mean a buttload. Like, he would actually be part of the elite when he, um, you know, when he concludes this investigation. And you find out when Takashi comes out, he's a very, you know, he's very closed off. He, he's lost everybody he's ever loved, uh, family, obviously friends and stuff like that. So he almost doesn't really give a shit. Like, he even tells Bancroft, look, I, just put me back on ice. I'll take one day back here on Earth, and then you can just lock me up forever. I really don't give a shit. But... He does change his mind eventually and starts to realize maybe, you know, this this is maybe a shot for me. Maybe this is my one last shot to have a normal life. So he goes ahead and he obviously takes the investigation. And then from there, a whole set of things take off that I really don't want to get into because there's a lot of good stories set up here. There's a lot of good twists and turns. And they're not twists and turns that are made for the case of shocking you. They're the kind of twists and turns that develop so well and so organically within the story that it makes it that much enjoyable and um you know the 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 and the cool thing about people being able to switch bodies some of the things they do is pretty crazy like uh Takashi Kovac as you know as I said is half Japanese half I think it's German but the main character is played by Joe Kinnaman because when Takashi comes out his old body's gone, you know, he's, he's, you know, and when you see in the show in flashbacks, he's obviously, you know, he's, he looks more Japanese than anything, but now he's, you got this white guy walking around being called Takashi, and <laughs> it's just, it's so crazy, you know, and um, another character in the show that I thought was really good was a character named Kristen Ortega, and she was played by Martha Hig Higuereta, and she was really good as well, I really liked her, very beautiful woman, um, and she comes out and she's very much keeping her eye on Takashi because obviously she looked up his rap sheet and, you know, she is almost harassing him. And it's, it's almost annoying in the beginning of the series until you find out later why she is. And you find out that she's got a much deeper connection to what's going on than, than first appeared. And then you start to realize that there's a lot of things that are intertwining and connecting uh, in this circle of uh, Bancroft, uh, Takashi, uh, Ortega, and other characters that you meet as the show progresses. And it's really amazing how much they got, um, how much story and how much they got done within 10, 10 episodes, you know? It's only a 10-episode season and really goes by fast. You know, when you're watching the episodes, even if you're binge-watching it, you're so into it that it goes by so quick and so much seems to happen but everything happens cohesively in a, in a really good, solid story. Uh, there's no filler, which is great. The story, everything that happens is relevant. Even if something happens that you wonder, uh, what's the point of that? It, it comes, you get the reward later. It comes back to you later, and you see, oh, that's why that happened. So it's, that's one of the refreshing things about it, is it's one of those shows that you can pretty much has no filler, Everything that happens on the show is relevant to the primary story, and that's what makes it so good. On top of that, the special effects are amazing. Um, there's one character that I really grew to adore, and that's a character named Edgar Poe, uh, played by a gentleman named Chris Connor. And Edgar Poe is actually an artificial intelligent um, hotel owner. And basically in the story, and this is not a spoiler here, but basically in the story, throughout the 250 years that Takashi was locked up, obviously technology advanced so there was a time where artificial intelligence was the go-to for entertainment and services you know and as time progressed synthetics were developed and that became the go-to for entertainment and services to the point now where ai are just basically sitting there collecting dust so you have a lot of artificial intelligent 
like hotels and services that nobody's using. Uh, and Takeshi, because he's kind of a recluse, decides to use one of these hotels as his home base. And that's where we meet Poe. And then you see that dynamic also ingrained into this fantastic sci-fi fantasy story that you really, really need to check out. I can't, I can't say it enough. Um, so that's pretty much it. I don't want to get into spoilers, even though I know the show's been out of it for a while. Everyone and their mother's probably seen it by now. But so many good things happen on this show that if there's some chance that you didn't see it and you're watching this review, I definitely want you to go and experience what I'm talking about before I come out here and just blabber out spoilers. So Altered Carbon, fantastic show. Definitely check it out. It sucks now. I've got to wait a whole other year before season two. But um, great show. Great show. So if you haven't seen it, Altered Carbon, definitely check it out if you're a sci-fi buff. And um, yeah, that's that's all I can say. That's, it's got my praises, man. Anyway, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Click here to watch more content. Or you can click here to become an ETN patron. Don't forget to leave a comment. Also, make sure you like and share this video. If you want to know when the next video is up, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And most of all, make sure to click that subscribe button for regular content.